All right, welcome to the Gentleman Grachowski Show. I am along the side with Partee Wesley. I'm the governor. How are you, Partee? Oh, man, I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good is good, pretty good, but not good enough. Yeah, that's because I haven't won the, uh, the, the money I'm trying to win yet. What kind of money are you trying to win? I need, all I need is 100 grand to make just my a, plan. Just 100 grand. That's all I need. You could easily do that. Easy, you say easily do that? Yeah, why not? Okay, yeah, okay. Give, me the, give me the numbers. Right, write, them, write them down right now for me. It's got to be that one odd number. What's that odd number that always wins? Three. And it's got to be that even number. Uh, even eight. And then uh, what's that other number with that's kind of crooked? Crooked number. Ele- no, not 11. That's uh, seven. Thank you, seven. Right? Crooked, crooked letter, crooked letter. Yes. Yeah. Seven and also three. All right, put it down, buddy. It's a winning combination. We're getting places here. we got to go somewhere. Yeah, we, yeah. You know? Where you go, is, it's up to you. Yes. But uh, I'll tell you one thing. One man will not go. Turns out here, Parti, a Houston man, let the clutter inside his house pile up so much that it became unlivable inside. Oh, my goodness. You ever see those people out there always walking around with just, they got, they're hoarders. They just hoarder stuff, right? You know what? I've seen that. As a matter of fact, I've seen it uh, time to time. It's their car is stacked, and they can't even turn left or right without running into, into something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the man constructed a makeshift room on top of his house that he was living in. So he had the whole house he couldn't live in because he had too much junk and he had stuff inside. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the man received multiple warnings and violations about the trash outside the home and even uh, served some jail time for not cleaning up. Jail? You, know, you, go, you go to jail for not cleaning up your house? I guess this guy did. Oh boy. Now, uh, the city, uh, the city crews evacuated, uh, they ex- executed the warrant, evacuated him from the house. You- they said it was a fire ha- hazard and deemed a home safety hazard. Oh, boy. Okay. A lien will be placed on the property until uh, it is cleaned up. A lien? Lien. Oh, my goodness. So don't lean on it, buddy. Lean? I mean, I'm not going to sing it. Don't lean on me because I want you to clean up my house. No, I can't do that. No? No. I'm a horrible cleaner. Fire right, yeah. You remember, remember last time I tried to push the vacuum in straight forward? And remember, I, t- I, t- I fell over to the right. Didn't work, buddy. No. Not at all. So, uh... When uh, house cleaning is looking for a, uh, new employees, mm-hmm. I would never fill, fill out an application. No, Mm-mm. I would. I would doubt it. Now I can clean out. <laughs> now I can clean out losing lottery tickets, but not 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 the uh, house cleaning. Okay, it happens. Yeah, that's right. That's up for you. It's easy for you to say. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, easy for Chicago to say at TV Hands Mobile Unit 1. We took it to the streets uh, party to ask Chicago some thought-provoking questions. Very, very provoking. You liked their thoughts. Oh, I like the thing. They, they provoke was... you. Yeah. Well, let's see what they had to say. Yeah. Ooh. That's not supposed to happen. What? Uh-oh. If you throw a cat out of a car window, would that be called kitty litter? <laughs> it could be, yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I never tried it, actually. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I would do that to a cat. Why? I hate cats. Why? Move, Move on. Move on. Sorry. Sorry, I know. If you throw a cat out of a car window, is that called kitty litter? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's called no one cares. It's a cat. It's called swag. You don't like cats? No. Why? I'm allergic. They're mean. I don't, I don't like You're missing out, my friend. Yes. <laughs> no. What's it called? Just littering. Littering? Animal yeah, abuse? I say littering. Animal abuse. Yeah. Animal. <laughs> if you throw a cat out of a car window, does it become kitty litter? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Probably. I don't know that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are good, these are good. Technically, I would say so, yes. Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I think it's still a cat. Still a cat? Yeah. What? Kitty litter? Yeah. 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 If you throw a cat out of a car window, does it become kitty litter? <laughs> I yeah. I don't get it. Kitty litter, you're littering the cat. <laughs> oh, a cat, I thought yeah. you said a can. I was like, you what gotta say that more clearly, Larry. I said kitty litter. I thought you said can, like if you threw a can out the window, not yeah, a can. That's what it, I wonder you first said. If you throw can. a can out the window, is it candid? Yeah. Candid? Yeah. No. no. Now you're making me look stupid on TV. <laughs> <laughs> right. no. no. What would it be called? Uh, helpful. I don't really like cats. You don't like cats? No. Too many lies for you, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. 
That's what. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Depends if it gets hit, I guess. Yeah. If you throw a cat out a car window, would that be called kitty litter? Yes, for sure. Yeah. Huh? Roadkill, maybe. Yeah. Not, not kitty litter? Uh, no. I wouldn't say that. No. Uh, if you throw a cat out a car window, is that called kitty litter? No, they're made to go out that I, window. They're, I, they're made I, to go out that window. Hey, cats, yeah. they can go out the windows. Yeah, there's, there's that, no that's not littering, though. That's no. that's animal. No. no one likes cats today. No, no, no. one likes cats. <laughs> no. What is kitty litter? <laughs> the stuff that the cat <laughs> I, 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 told, I said this was going to be clean until she... <laughs> no. I don't understand this yeah. <laughs> say, that, say that again, I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> All right, TV Hands Mobile Unit 1, Part T, they just has say the darndest thing. Yeah. Children's but, in Chicago and say the darndest things. But you know what? It's a tough job, but somebody had to say it. So they, and they did a good job at it. And see, TV Hams went out there and we found out. That information. I definitely found it out. Yes, sir. And you know, some more information we want to share with you. Gentleman Grachowski shows on WCGO, AM 1590. 90. AM 1590, Saturday night, 11 p.m. There we go, 11 p.m. 11 there we p.m. Go. Now we're talking. WCGO 1590 AM. Oh, yes. Check us out over there. Yeah, but listen now. You can't watch. You can listen only. Listen to this, Parte. Yes, I'm ready. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> It's time for our favorite time again, Part T, yeah. Facebook Famous. Facebook Famous. See what's going on in the Facebook world. Let's before check it we, out. Before we do that, look at this. This guy just loves, I can't lose no weight around Smoked Larry. bacon grilled cheese sandwich. Mm. Mm -hmm. Huh? No, now I see why people got to see the doctor. <laughs> the doctor <laughs> loves me because he knows he's going to make some money from the pharmacist. Let me read this. A smoking bake wrapped grilled cheese. Oh, my God. doesn't get better than that, Part I'll tell you one thing. I, lo I love me some grilled cheese. Yeah. Bacon awareness is we know always got to have a good bacon in the morning. Yes. Bacon in the morning. Bacon in the noontime. There you go. <laughs> and what about this? Wait a minute. Hold on. What is that about? This face looks familiar. That looks like a crazy character, huh? Yes. The cat is not in the bag. So that's what's on his head, huh, Party? Yes. We always wonder what was on top of that guy's head. No. Look yeah. at this. Time for the Facebook famous knuckleheads right here. Up, up to their no good. Oop. That's keeping your face below water. Look at this. Uh, why would you drive your bicycle so fast on this terrain? Look at this. Oh, I know why. Why? He's trying to avoid paying gas in his car. Is that what he's doing? Yes. Well, what's her problem? Her problem is her car notes are upside down. Good Lord. Look at these people. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Larry, even me, I I'm, I'm, more, uh, I'm more skilled than these idiots. Yeah, look at you. You could you could easily do that better. Yes. You could do that? Ooh. Ooh, don't hurt. Part T, look at these guys. Damn. Makes me uh, makes me feel good about myself. At least I'm not that silly. It's not extra size. Instead, it's extra rise. Extra rise. You got to get a rise out of look it, Look at that dude. Huh? Oh, my goodness. Something crazy, huh? We got some crazy people in this world, Larry. Yeah. I don't know what world I was born into. It's a crazy kind of magic, yeah. sir. Just a crazy kind of magic. For uh, uh, believe me, she's up to something no good there, Parte. No good. <laughs> oh, but this un unbelievable stuff, would you say? Man. Larry, I thought I was a crazy man, but you know what? After watching them videos, hey, man, I guess you could say I'm just as normal as they come. You're pretty normal compared yes. to these people. Yes. I, gotta hear, I can honestly say that. Yes, you can. And I can honestly say tvhams.com is the official website of the Gentleman Grachowski Show, tvhams.com. Yes. Go to it, check it out, leave, uh, leave some messages, let us know what you're thinking. We got, also check us on Facebook. Yes. Hopefully make us Facebook famous. And don't forget, Larry, hmm. also they can go on to YouTube. Yeah. And then not only go to YouTube, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and also leave comments. Subscribe, leave comments, it's a beautiful thing. That's right. Welcome back to the Gentleman Grachowski Show. You know, Part T, yeah. nothing makes me happier than to go out and get the parking spot right by the door. You know what? That's a beautiful thing because not, not only does it make you have to walk the, uh, the less, and also if you, if you see a villain 
or a, a so-called baby burglar. Or Godzilla. <laughs> that too, Godzilla. But also, you have to run the least amount to catch him and just choke him out from you, trying to break inside your car. Is that what you do? Yeah, if I catch a villain that's trying to break in my car, I let him have it. I'm, I not, choke, gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Oh no, I choke that son of a gun out. Okay. You want to take my valuables? Yeah. Shoot. What do you What do you got in your car, by the way? I got lots and lots of. Uh, what valuables are in your car, Parte? Lots of losing lottery tickets. Oh, that's it. <laughs> no. Plus, I got a, a bag. Uh, I got a Sunday that I ate last night. I didn't throw it away yet. The Sunday it's melted by now. No, no, I'm sorry. The contain my mistake. The container the Sunday was in. Oh, okay. It's still up in the car. Okay, no, good. No, the Sunday's in my stomach. In your belly. That's right. On Saturday. Yes. <laughs> Sunday's in Saturday. On your belly. <laughs> there we go. I couldn't wait till Sunday, so I had to have it on Saturday. Yes. Well, one thing you could have right now is uh, part two of our uh, interview with uh, the very funny uh, stand-up comedian, Chicago native here, Ricky March. Oh, he's a very, very funny guy. Let's check out uh, part two of our interview with Ricky March. Yes. Growing up, you were inspired by Don Rickles. Yes, I was. What about Don Rickles that appealed to you? What did you like about him? The fact that he could walk into a room, and I saw him at the Mill Run Theater in Golf Mill. Okay. He could walk into a room and insult people, and they ate it up and they applauded. And I said, I got to do this. And, and how do you do that? How does someone? How was he able to do that? Did you figure out his secret? Well, he always started by being nice and warming himself up to the audience and he'd sing his little theme song that he had and that was his shtick so he'd be like hey nice hat free bowl of soup come with that hat so a little, it was like a, like a a nice and then a slap exactly no no give it up for this guy man looks good on you <laughs> sorry about the accident bus okay oh <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right, that's that was a secret. Yeah. And what was the magic of George Carlin and Richard Pryor to you? Well, Richard Pryor was a genius because he talked from reality. He didn't just invent jokes. And George Carlin was one of the most brilliant joke writers ever. In fact, my second year of doing comedy, I wrote a joke about a president in an election. And then I read the same joke in George Carlin's book, so I threw mine away because nobody would believe I didn't steal it. Right. Great minds think alike, though. It's nice to know. And I don't... I don't do an eight ball of Coke and drink a bottle of wine before every show. No. Well, he did, and now he doesn't anymore. What do you just? What do you? What do you prefer? I prefer soda water and prayers. Soda water and prayers. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, nothing's wrong with that. How has uh, comedy changed as life goes on? You're, the stuff what you, if you were doing comedy early on, how would it be changed if you're grown older? Like now, you said you started a little later in comedy. Right. Even in that short amount of time, how has your comedy changed? Well, I've gotten more relevant to connect with the audience, and that's always tough to do. I, uh, I don't necessarily talk about politics or religion, because it tends to piss people off. Half the room, probably. Most of the room. Yeah. And what I find is I'm touring the country, it's amazing how many racists there are. Okay. And anti-Semites. Okay. And I throw it right in their face, and I said, you know what? This is 2017. This is a horrible time to be a racist. And everybody's tush clenches yeah. up. Okay. And I go, you know who the biggest racists are of all? Hockey players. They'll do whatever they can to get that little black thing out of their area. Even <laughs> beat it with a stick. <laughs> all right. That was good. Yes. Well, thank you. Hey, he did all the work. You don't got to high five me. Okay. Well, hey, you somebody just high five because he, he, he answered those good questions. Well, somebody had to do the work. Yeah. So that's what, that's what came into play. That's our good job. Our, that's our cranky Ricky. That's right. All right. Ricky in the house. That's right. And uh, also, um, let's take a quick break and we'll be back with uh, Chicago Comedy Live. Yes. You handle it? Oh, I can take it. Yes. Uh, he, he can take it. All right. But what I can't wait for is uh, another edition of Chicago Comedy Live. Oh, I can't wait now. Chicago Comedy Live on the Gentleman Grachowski Show. Let's take a look, uh, see what Chicago's going on out there. Shall we, Partee? Yes, let's do it now. Welcome back to the broadcast. We're sitting here with Jody Baez. Hi. How you doing, Jody? I'm now, Jody's not your, uh, Jody's your kind of your stage name because most people can't pronounce your real name, right? Yes. Just Naira. Yes. I can remember that pretty good, right? Just Naira. But uh, well, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you for having me. Tell us about your comedy. How long you've been doing comedy, and uh, 
you tell me about your some of your stand up routine and stuff? Um, I've been doing comedy for this will be the beginning of four years, and I actually started because my friend dared me. Dared you? Yes, he did. Oh wow. Yeah. So he had an open mic, and there was a female comic doing comedy, and this guy was like, "Oh my gosh, she's horrible." And then I spoke out loud, and I was like, "At least she's up there." Right. And then my friend was like, since you want to talk loud, why don't you come up here? Okay. The guy was like, yeah, I want to see how funny you are. And then people started requesting me to come back, and I was just telling stories. Right. So it became a addiction. Cool. Well, now your first day, how nervous were you? Oh, I was very nervous. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to forget my jokes. I'm going to forget what I was thinking about. Do you remember any of the, any of the uh, jokes the first night? Um, I remember talking about my name and okay. saying like how people are like, what's your name? And I'm like, just Naira. And they're like, Naira. And I'm like, no, it's just Naira. And yeah. they're like, Naira. And I'm like, just forget it. My name's just Naira. And I hate when people are like, oh my gosh, what's your name? I'm like, just Naira. And they're like, Naira. And I'm like, no, just Naira. And they're like, I know I said Naira. I'm like, just forget it. I think now I'm starting to go more into personal experiences and who I am as a person. Like before I would talk about stuff in general and politics and stuff going on around, you know, in the news. But now I'm touching on my experiences my personal experiences and stuff. And it's also the spin you put on it, right? Like, yeah. what, what happens to you happens to everybody, but it's just the way you see it is really what makes a difference. And, you know, it's through your eyes, your perspective of, of yeah. all the, any di- difficult problem you might have or something like that. Um, when you get up there on stage, how do you prepare, like, not necessarily just talking about a story, but how do you visually prepare to get up on stage? Is there a routine you follow? I do, not really, because the crowd could be different. I guess it's just looking at your crowd and just expressing to them who you are as a person, you know, okay. and just being you. And that's how you connect with them. You can't go up there being fake and, you know? Yeah. So when you, you bring them into your world, then that's where the connection is. So when, when you're on stage, that's your world. And okay, so you're bringing them in. How do you handle uh, hecklers? Sometimes I just ignore them, but if they get a little too much, then I will address them, but then I'll go back into my routine because people did pay to see a show, and it's like, I'm not gonna waste my time, my stage time, trying to address you for acting ignorant. Yeah. My name's just Naira, they call me Jotty, and people, I hate when people are like, oh my gosh, what's your name? I'm like, just Naira. They're like, is there something funny first? Oh, oh, okay. oh I, I think you want to be part of the show? <laughs> oh, oh I, I'm not going to have a threesome with you. So that's disgusting. Okay. Anyways, I mean, people pay to see a show, not to see you. But, um... <laughs> so back to the jokes, the real jokes. In your routine, you mentioned uh, springtime is a time for relationships, right? Yeah. Tell us more about what you what you thought your thoughts about that. Well, like you know, during the winter time, that's when guys want to cuddle and find their cuddle buddy and baby, I love you. But in the spring, that's when the hoes come out. <laughs> then, uh, then they want to find the hoes. You know, and also people. You know, yeah, they're all comfortable around Christmas time too, yeah. right? Yeah. And after Christmas time, you're like, oh, okay, what else is out there, right? Something new. It's like, it's like the end, right? The, the end and the beginning of the next year. Yeah. Um, you mentioned in your routine, you talk to guys. You got to talk to guys with sports, sports terminology. When, when did you figure that out, and how does that go for you? Like, I realize when you sit down and tell the guy we need to talk, they're like, oh God. But guys love sports. Right. So when you talk to them in sports time, they're like, I get it, baby, I get it. I realized how you gotta talk to guys. You gotta talk to them in sports terms. So instead of hitting them, you gotta be like, you know what, you know what? You got a two minute warning before I post up and I steal off your ass. <laughs> and then he'll be like, baby, what's up? 
You been ejected. No one touched on us, baby. <laughs> Do you find uh, guy audiences are different than female audiences? I think if you talk about stuff, when you talk about personal experiences, I think women and men relate to you regardless. Because right. you're telling the truth. You're telling real life stuff that goes on. Did you ever have it where uh, there was more males or more females in the crowd and yes. you had to adjust your humor towards that? Well, I thought, I thought you know, being an all-male, I was like, oh, God, it's all-males. They're going to want me to talk dirty. They expect, but just being myself, I still was able to connect with them because I was giving them insight on how women think. Right. So it still works. That's cool. And then one, one final thing, you mentioned how you talk, you mentioned kids singing. Tell us more about what you thought, how you, how you came up with that observation. I work with kids, and okay. that was actually a true story. Like this little boy, he's saying, he's saying, please don't kill, because I told him if he could work on his work, and he's like, please don't kill my vibe. And he just gave me that idea, and I was like, how could I incorporate everyday songs with speaking to kids? Because right. kids are so influenced by music. Right that if you sing a song to them, then they understand you better than, can you please do this? Can you please do that? You can't talk to kids normal. Like, I can't be like, can you do this? Can you do that? You have to sing songs, and they'll sing songs back to you. For example, these little kids were in the corner. And I was like, what are they doing? This little kid was like, I'm reloaded. And I'm like, put the crayons back. Tell your mom I'm buy you some. <laughs> and then this other kid was like, please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my vibe. I was like. Are you serious right now? So I told this little girl, I was like, can you get in line? She's like, hold up, wait a minute. And I was like, see, that's the sh I don't like. <laughs> then I had to pop a molly and I was like, woo! <laughs>